Hello and welcome back to Creative Heads Virtual Learning Solutions. Are you associated with manufacturing industry? Or lead a team there? Stay with us for the next few minutes to learn a classic case of supply chain disaster known as the beer game, demonstrating a typical coordination problem of a supply chain process. Once there was a beer seller who used to sell multiple brands of beer to the local residents of a county in the state of Wisconsin, United States. Apart from selling many popular brands like Miller and Bud, he used to sell locally brewed beers as well, one of which was called Lover's Beer. Lover's Beers was not the most popular beer, however, there was a steady demand of the Lover's Beer. Each week, the retailer sold on an average four cases of the Lover's Beers, and would maintain a steady stock of 12 cases in the inventory. Each week, the distributor's truck would arrive at the back of his store and unload four cases of the Lover's Beer, and he'd hand over the trucker his order written on a form. The order he'd place each week would arrive at his store after four weeks. That's the lead time the distributor would take to ship the order. It was simply so because the distributor would further place the order to the brewery which was around 300 kilometers away from his location, and it would take nearly four weeks for the supply to come from the factory. The business was going fine and the sales of the beers were steady as it's always been during this time of the year. Suddenly, Let's say in week two, the retailer sold eight cases of the lover's beer instead of usual four. He simply thought it might have been a party or something and that's why he sold eight cases instead of the average four cases a week. He didn't worry much as he still had eight cases of lover's beer in stock. In order to bring his inventory back to 12, he ordered eight cases of lover's beer this week. The truck brings another four cases of the lover's beer in week three as it was supplying the order the retailer placed four weeks ago. Interestingly this week too, the retailer sold 8 cases, and now he was left with only 4 cases. Therefore, he ordered 12 cases of lover's beer this time. Still, he did not know what exactly had given this sudden increase in the sale. He wondered if there was any advertisement in the newspapers or leaflet etc., not that something he could think of. Before he could ask the trucker this question, a customer came in and he got busy managing the customer. In the beginning of week 4, there were two customers who came and wanted to buy 12 cases of lover's beer. As he was left with only 4 cases, he sold those 4 and the customers happily shared the contact details and requested the retailer to inform them as soon as the new stock of lover's beer would arrive. It was from these two customers he came to learn why there was a sudden hike in the demand. One of the customers told the retailer that a music album produced by a local band of youngster used in the last line in one of the songs. And I sip my lover's beer, before I go to the beach. This week again, he was delivered 7 cases of beer as the distributor tried to supply as many cases as he possibly could. However, the retailer was now very worried as he never wanted his customers to have the impression that he was out of stock, and that his customers go to another retailer to buy the beers. Frustrated due to the lower supply from the distributor, he decided to raise the demand to 24 cases, but the distributor was unable to match sudden raise in the demand. In the week 6, the retailer was highly annoyed and had tried every possible way to keep the customers. He couldn't stop thinking the amount of profit he could make, and got angry at the distributor for not supplying the complete orders. This week, 9 cases of lover's beer were delivered. The retailer placed another order of 24 cases, as he was way behind the demand. Whatsoever, he knew that the order will definitely start arriving, but was wondering. When? This week, the distributor could manage to send 10 cases. Let's look at the situation at the distributor. The distributor had a small table and a chair, and was sitting between hundreds of cases of beers of multiple brands. He even had truckloads of stock in his inventory, as he was supplying multiple brands to multiple retailers in many small cities, suburbs, etc. He was not the only distributor in the region, there were three more distributors, but he was well established and had a good reputation. Like the retailer, the distributor too used a form to place his orders and give it to his trucker. The distributor was receiving orders in terms of truckloads, to keep it simple, the distributor was also placing 4 truckloads of order each week and used to keep 12 truckloads in the inventory, as he knew he would receive his order after 4 weeks from the brewery. Till week 4, 
He managed with all the fluctuations in the orders he received, as there was nothing to worry about. He had enough stock to manage the small raise in the demand. However, week 5 onward, he found that the orders were doubling, tripling and even quadrupling, and it was getting difficult for him to meet the demand. Though the distributor came to know about the video from the multiple sources in week 6, and smartly enough, he increased the order 5 times, and made it 20 truckloads. In week 7 and 8, the distributor received the order that he placed in the week 3 and 4, and despite his all efforts he couldn't fulfill the order as per demands of the retailers. In the subsequent weeks, seeing the constant increase in the demand from the retailers going many folds, he too raised his order to 40 truckloads. The orders of 40 truckloads arrived, and without wasting any time, he put all his men into distributing those orders to the retailers. In week 17, all his orders started coming in. However, he observed that the retailer's order had now became zero. Week after week and after week. It was because the retailers had started receiving the orders they placed in bulk weeks ago and they now had no space to store more. The distributor was now sitting between the truckloads of beers and there were more to come. We have seen the retailer and distributor so far, and I'm sure, you are keen to know the situation at the factory. So let's take a look at the factory too. The brewery was located some 300 kilometers away from the distributor. It was not the most popular beer but was known for its good quality. The brewery recently had a new marketing manager who joined in some three months back. The manager was previously a quality control manager and joined in here because of his previous record. It was luck that worked for the new manager that there was a sudden boom in the demand and the management was very happy with the raised demands of the beer in the market. The manager came to know about this hike in orders in week 6 and tried to immediately manage the situation by asking people to do double shifts. It usually takes two weeks time for a bottle of beer to brew and ready for shipment. The manager realized that this dramatic growth was a great opportunity to expand the manufacturing capacity. Furthermore, they couldn't meet with just 8 hour shift and one manufacturing unit to supply the increasing demand. He showed all the sufficient documentation to prove his point to the management and convince them to acquire another plant. He became famous, and happy as he was, he started imagining his photograph on the front page of the local business magazine. The marketing, giant. However, this name and fame couldn't last long. As the orders from the distributor became zero, week after week and after week. And the marketing manager was really getting worried for his reputation. He was thinking how he would justify this to the management and their investment in the new factory. He started blaming the customers and how disloyal customers could be. He was even thinking of resigning. To learn what happens further at the factory, whether the new marketing manager resigns and what he does next to manage the situation, or for conducting this supply chain simulation popularly known as the beer game, so that your managers and supervisors can learn how to best manage their production and supply chain, Write to us at info at creativeheads.co. Here are the three key takeaways of our supply chain training. 1. This is a fantastic case to stimulate different stakeholders to understand how a complex system functions. It shows how the system causes its own behavior. 2. Irrespective of who holds a position in a complex system, each role has certain behaviors common to it. 3. It is not the external forces, rather the internal forces that compel the system to collapse. Here are the two important questions to be asked your team of managers, just in case if you wish to share this video with your managers. 1. Who is at fault, the retailer, the distributor, or the factory manager? 2. How could your managers avoid this problem occurring at your organization or supply chain? If you wish to have your team solve this supply chain challenge and learn from this simulation, send us an email. Creative Heads is a boutique organization development consulting firm that helps organizations to achieve extraordinary results in the areas of growth and performance. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get the notification of our latest videos at the earliest. Also, to receive regular updates on latest organization development practices and leadership skills development insights, please subscribe to our newsletter at www.creativeheads.co.
You can also call us to discuss your organization development concerns and challenges at 9811583665. Thank you for watching.